Panthers from Eastern Illinois are in town. They're a familiar opponent in Fayetteville. Hagen Smith is going to be on the mound. And DVH going for career win number 800. They better be ready because it's Hagen Smith on the mound making his second start of the season. Yeah, Hagen Smith would look lights out in his first debut. Five plus innings, only give up one hit. Some early eye popping velocity. There's the pitch that's cut on a mist. Riley down on One of those veterans on this ball club. Just serves one in the right for a base hit. You don't hit close to 400 without being able to take a tough breaking ball and send it the other way for a base hit. Runners take off. Pitch is swung on and missed. So, Orphan blisters one to center and Riley will take it on a bounce. So Jace has his fifth hit in 12 at bats this season. Not going, Chopper up the middle. DeLuca can't get there. And Borfin will turn and go to third. I'm not sure if DeLuca got blocked at Oklahoma State. There's a ground ball to second, another chance for DeLuca. This time he'll make the play and the Panthers get the double play. Tell you what, one thing the Hawks have done a lot of this. Grounded sharply to third, another play for Slavin. Two outs. I think Brady Slavin's just happy that his arm's healthy to throw the ball across the diamond. That's probably a good without even the benefit of a hit driving three. And he has a second base hit today. So two for two. This is pitch number 56. Trying to get through three innings. In the air a long time. Holt puts it away. Another base runner. In that ballpark somewhere. <laughs> Been a long time opponent. Hudson Polk hit every single one of those. Had a good pitch to bunt. Now the test and it can't get there. And everybody's safe. That was a rucker, his only time in. He's going to drop down a bunt. Fiddle by Tall, no chance. Hogs are playing some small ball. Hit batter. And back to back bunts. Two, two. That looked pretty good. It did. I was sure that one missed. Hogs get a run without hitting a ball more than about 15 feet this inning. Now a Testanik throws here. The 3 2. Lifted to center and it'll drop in for a base hit. It'll chase on two more runs. Bolton and Josenberger both come across. It's 3 0 Arkansas. That's 12 runs batted in in five games for Wegner. Slavin just pokes one in the left for a base hit. Dix will score 4 0 Razorbacks. Wegner trying to get a third base and he's in there safely. That was a daring base running play. It worked. Slavin follows to second. Brady's hit in all five games this year. Yeah, really nice job by Brady. Pitch of the start. And. That didn't miss my much. Home this year, two doubles. There's a trap at the first. Rucker's going to make that difficult throw to second, back to first. They get the double play. Now a run will score. That was a nice effort by the Panthers. Hope bounced into a double play to end the second. Blisters one into left for a base hit. Slavens will score run number six this inning. Peyton Holt making the most of his opportunity to start. So had three different five run innings. Today they have a six run inning, maybe more. Launched to right center. This ball will be caught by Riley. So 10 men come to the plate. Hogs scores six, providing a big frame. In, in a little bit. I think I've been around the plate. I do too. Well, he gets that one. Though. Strikeout number six. Eastern Community College. Hard hit, base hit. Might have our first extra base hit of the game. Riley hustling towards second base. Holt couldn't slap the tag down. That's a double for Riley. That's down and out. Ignafo has been on. Some issues. That's trouble. Can Slavens get it with a bare hand? He cannot. Infield single by Gober. Have Low to the bases for the Panthers. Two strike pitch. That's strike three called outside corner. So Atcock gets the K. Panthers lead the bases loaded. It's big round numbers. Ground ball, base hit. That one had eyes between Rucker and DeLuca. That's Slavin's two for three. 
Chase a single and walk, but you're waiting for the power. How about a delayed steal from Slavens? In there. That's the first of the season. Been base runners, walks, singles. There's a walk. He's going to dribble one to the right side for a base hit. Slavens around third. Ignafo's throw is cut off. Arkansas gets the extra point. 7 0 Razorbacks. Second RBI for Holt. That's 20. Runners take off. And the throw went behind Slavens. Brady's going to get two stolen bases in this inning. I think it's Borfin out there going from second to third. Ah, it is Borfin. Chopper to third. Tall will make that throw across the diamond. On a bounce, Rucker will scoop. Must have led better got some really quality innings a season ago. And he's a guy that you're going to see have a bullpen. 2 2. Well, that drilled Saluski, so a free base runner. Hard hit. Borfin chasing, looking up, and that's going to kick off the base of the fence and propel away. Saluski will stop at third. It's going to be a double from LaShure. Both extra base hits in this you know, game. You win that tournament, get yourself in the postseason. There's a ground ball. In the left, a base hit. Eastern is on the board. Saluski scores. LaShure will stop at third. Still nobody out. Here on another 3 2 pitch. That's in the air to center. That's going to chase home a run. Josenberger underneath it. LaShure, the catcher, is going to tag. He's going to score. It's a 7 2 game on a sack fly from DeLuca. The payoff. Hit well to center. Josenberger just outruns baseball. So get back there easily to win the inning. So Ledbetter retired the last three he faced. First three got aboard and a pair scored. So Hard hit. Taken on the bounce by Wooster. Slips as his throw was wide, and Bolton's going to get himself another hit. Well, Gage Wood comes on to become the fourth Arkansas pitcher used in the game. Yeah, this is Gage Wood's third appearance. Another run of the fifth. Eastern got their first two last inning. There's a wave and a miss at a slow breaking ball. Fifth inning. Strike three called outside corner. He's done a nice job. Although that one gets Borfin. It's going to be not if, but when he starts hitting. That might be a good sign. A couple of RBIs also hit into a double play. Chops one to third, but it's off the glove of Akbar. Borfin will score. Racing to third base is Cali, And <laughs> it's going to be an out eventually on Holtz. That one goes to the backstop. A play at the plate, maybe, but the ball isn't caught cleanly. Cali will score, and he took a tag to the nose. He might have a bloody nose out of all that. The ball that Holt hit. And that's a walk to Polk. But, uh, been a lot of base runners. Ground ball. Akbar can't get it off his glove in the left. Polk will turn third and score, and the Hawks have hit 10 runs. It's 10 to 2. And John Bolton just continues. If he does, he'll end the game. In the air to center. Back goes Riley to the fence. Goodbye. Ball game. Kendall Diggs with a three run game ending homer. And the Hogs defeat Eastern Illinois 13 to 2. What is it about Kendall Diggs and three run homers? He just felt like he was seeing the baseball well. Guy that could stay back. Tremendous power to all fields. And, and happy for Kendall Diggs, a guy he just has some juice in that bat. Remember, he had the three-run homer to beat Old Miss, had a three-run homer at Auburn, and a three-run homer here, run rules, Eastern Illinois. Swing from Kendall Diggs. With just great extension right there by Diggs, and the ball just continued to carry. And you can see Riley, that ball just, that glove just snaps right off his hand. You see Kendall Diggs, he's thrilled. Mr. Three-Run Homer. That's Arkansas's first extra base hit of the game, and today they score 13. Yeah, it's a, it's a good win for Arkansas. Again, they're going to have to really strap it up for the rest of this week, and this Eastern Illinois team is going to come back, and they're going to really fight these next two, next two weeks.